Hey there, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid. So last time we actually took down the hind quite well. I'm happy about how well I did that. Now, at the moment, it's dark. You can't really see. I'm about to fight her. Yeah, let's just crouch here. Snake, are you okay? Otacon, were there any other stealth prototypes? No, there were only five. So, this isn't stealth camouflage then. What are you talking about? Someone's aiming at me in the middle of this blizzard. It's her. Wolf? Sniper Wolf? Yes, it's her. It's definitely her. Otacon, you sound like you're happy. No, I'm not. So then what is it? Snake, please don't kill her. Are you insane? Please, she's a good person. You'd know that if you talked to her. Listen to me, kid. She's a merciless killer. I can see you perfectly from here. <laughs> I told you, I'd never quit the hunt. Now you're mine. Wolf, no, you can't. Don't get between a wolf and its prey. You're pretty good if you can hit me in this storm. You see, women naturally make better soldiers. Wolf, don't do this. Snake, I'm near. Can't you sense me near you? It's a mistake for a sniper to reveal our location. Is that right? Well, I'm going to send you a love letter, my dear. Do you know what that is? It's a bullet. Straight from my gun to your heart. Please, Wolf! Snake, no! Quiet! Don't get in our way! Now I'm gonna pay you back for Meryl. You men are so weak. You can never finish what you start. Alright. One second. It's Sniper Wolf. You can only shoot at her with your PSG-1. Snake, Wolf is hiding somewhere in that snowfield. First, you'll have to find out where she is. She should come out of hiding briefly to shoot at you. The most important tools you need to be a good sniper are the senses that you were born with. No amount of training can change those. If your senses are dull from the beginning, you'll never be a great sniper. Sniper Wolf. It is pretty unusual for a sniper to announce their presence before they shoot. She must have a real thing for you. Anyway, I do not think it is going to be as easy as before. Nope, nope, and... Otacon, where can I find ammo for the PSG-1? I... I can't tell you. Alright, so I could do this the legit way, or I can cheese this. Alright. Remember correctly. Yep, about here. Alright. what this battle's going to be because oh boy <laughs> yeah you're supposed to have a legit sniping thing with her but I I am sucking so much at this game I'm like, let's just do it this way.
Also, we never really used Nikita anymore for this, which is a shame, because I really like this gun. Alright. And oddly enough, every enemy you shoot at this with, I believe, I... That's on me. Every enemy you shoot at this with will basically shoot the missile before it even gets near them. She's just focusing all on me. For I am the only thing she wants in her sights. Oh. Alright, six more bullets and that's it. Don't think that's gonna be enough to actually defeat her. But it should be enough to get some of the job done. There we go. Alright, where are you hiding? I'm fighting with so much honor right now, you'd be happy, Sniper Wolf. Actually, I might have enough. Equip uh, this just in case. You could be mad that I cheesed that, but hey, I didn't have to use much of my resources except a bunch of the key shells. But yeah, if you really try, the sniping I match is quite difficult. Waited for this moment. I am a sniper. Waiting is my job. Never moving a muscle. Concentrating. <laughs> I am long shot. You cannot save me. Please. Just finish me quick. I am a girl. Always dreamed of a peaceful place like this. A curd. So that's why you're called Wolf. I was born on a battlefield. Raised on a battlefield. Gunfire, sirens, and screams. They were my lullabies. Hunted like dogs day after day. <sighs> Driven from our ragged shelters. That was my life. Each morning I'd wake up and find a few more of my family or friends dead beside me. I'd stare at the morning sun and pray to make it through the day. Governments of the world turned a blind eye to our misery. But then, he appeared. My hero. Saladin. He took me away from all that. Saladin? You mean Big Boss? I became a sniper. Hidden. Watching everything through a rifle scope. Now I could see war. Not from inside, but from the outside. As an observer, I watched the brutality. 
the stupidity of mankind through the scope of my rifle. I joined this group of revolutionaries to take my revenge on the world. But I have shamed myself and my people. I am no longer the wolf I was born to be. In the name of vengeance, I sold my body and my soul. Now I am nothing more than a dog. Wolves are noble animals. They're not like dogs. In Yupik, the word for wolf is Keglinek, and the Aleuts revere them as honorable cousins. They call mercenaries like us dogs of war. It's true. We're all for sale at some price or another. But you're different. Untamed. Solitary. You're no dog. You're a wolf. Who are you? Are you Saladin? Wolf. You spared Meryl's life. She... she was never my real target. I don't kill for sport. Rest easy. You'll die as the proud wolf you are. I finally understand. I wasn't waiting to kill people. I was waiting for someone to kill me. A man like you. You're a hero. Please, set me free. Why? Why? I loved you. What is it? My gun. Give it to me. She's part of me. Everyone's here now. Oh, okay, hero. Set me free. Goodbye. Snake, you said that love could bloom on the battlefield. But I couldn't save her. What are you doing? Returning it to its owner. I don't need a handkerchief. Why? I don't have any more tears to shed. <gasps> I'm going to the underground base. We're out of time. I know. You'll have to protect yourself now. Don't trust anyone. Yeah. If I can't stop Metal Gear, this whole place will probably be bombed to hell. Yeah. We might not meet again. I'll hang on to my codec. I want to keep helping. You can leave any time. Get a head start. A head start on your new life. Snake! What was she fighting for? What am I fighting for? What are you fighting for? If we make it through this, I'll tell you. Okay. I'll be searching too.
and thus Sniper Wolf was killed. I believe if you go over here. Oh wait, what's this? Level six. I got a level up. Ah. Camera. Uh, looks like a bunch of sniper ammo. I was going to say. There she is. I wonder. It's an awful time. Come on, did I not pick it back up? Oh, I never picked it back up. Never mind. There was an item I, got, I picked up earlier. Uh, level 7. I picked up a camera, but that was... Alright, there's nothing in here. Lies. Oh, I am in a very bad spot. Am I full on grr? I am full on claymores. Now, if I climb over it, it just says I can't pick it up. Okay. I'm gonna need those claymores for later. Don't you worry. I will actually use them. I'm also, I think, how my rations looking? Three out of five. Per oh, I can hold five now. Nice. Alright. Put it on. I don't trust it. I now trust it. Nope. 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 Yes, 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 yes. All good. We are just restocking right now. What are we even fighting for? Um. Do I have a chaff? Because I don't want to get chaff. I do. Be worth it, please. Oh, excellent. 100% worth it. Oh yeah, let me call. A sad story. We shouldn't have turned our backs on the Kurds after the Gulf War. Listen, we're not responsible for her choices. Everyone decides their own fate, no matter where they were born. Words like fate, karma, it's just an excuse for giving up if you ask me. I don't agree with you. Maybe if she hadn't been born on a battlefield, she might have had a happier, more fulfilling life. She might not have turned into a killer. I think it's really the only person. Oh, wait. The entrance to the underground maintenance base is in the north of the snowfield. I'll be watching, Snake. Right, I think that's about it for me there. I don't think there's anything else over here. Because I'm very paranoid now. Nope, nothing hidden behind there. Shame. Oh, I want whatever that is. A cardboard box C. I have yet to even use one. Also, I'm full on rations now. Nice. Yeah, and that's just ammo. Alright. Oh. That's where disc one ends. Okay, I knew it some. How do I insert disc two? Oh. Oh, that's actually pretty cool. <laughs> Never mind then. I was gonna say, wait, how do I insert disc two? It's digital. That's how. 
I'm immediately saving it. In China, they say it's better to live ugly than to die beautiful. I think it's true. Once you're dead, you'll never have another chance to be happy. I can't understand people who want to die before their time. Please, Snake, promise me that you'll come back alive. Mm, no promises. Um, it's extremely windy out. I hope the power doesn't go out. So I'm gonna try and leave that snowfield save alone. If I have to redo it, I'll redo it. All right, save complete. Oh, actually, because I'm in here, Campbell. The entrance to the underground base. Oh, never mind. All right, nothing new. Oh dear. Nope, those are metal grates. If I walk over it, they'll hear me. That's not what I want. No. Nope. That was an accident. I meant to grab him. about to move. Come back this way. There we go. Oh, you are teasing me right now. I'm not moving anymore. You have to come. There we go. That'll knock you off and instantly kill you. You gotta be very careful. Alright, what do we have? We have cameras. Yeah, I haven't used one of these in a while. No, no. I'm uh, sure. All right, be careful. I can almost instantly kill myself when I'm really, really careless. Uh, a ration, my health is not, that's, all right, that's full. Let's not play with fire, literally. All right, I'm gonna equip those, equip the body armor back on. If I can negate some damage and save rations, I will do so. All right, those are just lights. That's a camera. C4, and that's it. I'm gonna go out on the stairs. Right, I gotta be careful. I know there's some cameras and stuff around. Oh, wait, what are you? I'll do that after. Let me just grab whatever this is. Stun grenade will be okay. Oh, God. No, that's a ration. Don't need it. I am not walking that close to the edge. I think that's worth it, whatever that is. I 
wood. I have the chaff. I'm going to. Okay. Oh, that's act. Okay. No, I don't regret it. Do not regret it. I'm actually happy. You can't go wrong with a few extra stinger missiles and a few more chaff. Stop Metal Gear today. Well, by today, I mean next time. Alright. It's a hangar, maybe? Storage place? I don't see enemies around. For the love of God, let me equip something real quick. Alright, there's no mines. The pal key's a pal key. Equip the body armor and. Oh. Yep. Give me a second. All right. Give me some FAMAS bullets. The body armor is staying on. 100%. Really? Okay, do I just do this? No. Oh, there it goes. my gun equipped. Actually curious. Anything to say, Campbell? Now, Metal Gear is straight down. Better move it. There's no time. The terrorists are ready to launch. Negotiations are all finished. The government can't cave into terrorist demands, but they're threatening to launch a nuclear weapon. They've made their final decision. Why is the White House being so inflexible, Colonel? Is there still something you're hiding from me, Snake? Please, just concentrate on stopping them, okay? That elevator is for transporting vehicles and building materials to the underground maintenance base. So that's why it's so big. The elevator you're on right now is the number one elevator. That elevator won't take you down all the way. So you'll have to switch to the number two elevator at the relay point. Hmm. Okay. Oh, I was like, I need to move this thing back. It's too close to my face. There we go. Better. All right, we're gonna swap elevators. Also, man, those guys are crazy. Just jumping down on an elevator that's already descending. Yeah, I'll pass. All right, I don't like it. This area is being jammed, which means I can already hear the cameras. Yeah. That's done. Yeah, I'm not stupid. Damn it. Right, this is 
whatever that is worth it. Let's find out. Just stay on the left side. Now we'll go over. It was worth it. Just gonna slide on back now. Slide, not yeah. I think we're good. Down we go. Birdies. In fact, there may be ravens. Maybe. There are a lot of crows around here. Those aren't crows. Those are northern ravens. The Inuit and other Native Americans worship northern ravens as creator deities. Some say that ravens have the power to predict death. The great poet Marlowe wrote about them in the 16th century. Thus, like the sad presaging raven that tolls the sick man's passport in her hollow beak, and in the shadow of the silent night doth shake contagion from her sable wings. That's pretty gloomy, Master. By the way... What? I've got something to tell you about Naomi Hunter. What about her? Is this conversation secure? Don't worry, the monitor's off. Okay. What's up? I was in the FBI too, you know. I didn't know that. What's your point? Dr. Hunter's story about her background, about her grandfather being an assistant secretary to Hoover in the FBI... Yeah? and then going undercover to investigate the Mafia in New York. Yeah, what about it? It was all a big lie. What did you say? It was really bothering me. Why would she lie about it? She lied? She might be a spy. Ridiculous. Come on, even a high school student could see past it. The head of the FBI at that time, Edgar Hoover, he was a well-known racist. Didn't Naomi say that her father was Japanese? Yeah. Well, back then, there wasn't a single Asian investigator. Also, in the 1950s, the undercover mafia sting operations hadn't even started yet. They first started in 1960, in Chicago, not New York. But... You better check it out. The chief and the president mysteriously dying, and that ninja? Too many strange things are happening. I agree. Are you saying that Naomi might be behind it? I don't know. Either that, or she's working with the terrorists. Could it be? If I find out anything, I'll call. In the meantime, be careful. I mean, he has a, a big point. She acts suspicious on everything. Colonel, where's Naomi? I'm right here, Snake. What is it? Oh, uh, nothing. Forget it. Strange. Snake, by now those terrorists have finished their launch preparations. Stop wasting time. If you take that elevator down, you'll wind up in the warehouse. Metal Gear's underground maintenance base is just past there. Ravens. What? There are a lot of ravens here. There were ravens around from before, but for some reason they started to really increase in number around the same time that Foxhound came to the base. It's really weird. I, I wonder what it could mean. That is a FAMAS. It is a bullpup style assault rifle. Oh, yep, I know. Don't need to tell me. All right, I'm not gonna save it yet.
right. Boss number two. Welcome, Cossack. This is the end of the road for you. Right, my friends? Listen, they agree. Ravens aren't scavengers like most people think. They're simply returning to the natural world, that which is no longer needed. Sometimes they even attack wounded foxes. You were the one in the M1 tank? Must have been a tight fit for a big boy like you. <laughs> but that was no true battle. The Ravens and I were testing to see what kind of man you were. The judgment is decided. The Ravens say you are a true warrior. Am I hallucinating? I can't move. The Raven has put the mark of death upon you. Blood from the east flows within your veins. Ah, your ancestors too were raised on the barren plains of Mongolia. Inuit and Japanese are cousins to each other. We share many ancestors, you and I. I don't have any crows in my family tree. <laughs> you jest, but indeed ravens and snakes are not the best of friends. Nevertheless, you will make a worthy adversary. You live in Alaska too. You know of the world Eskimo Indian Olympics. Yeah, I know it. Must be a real threat in the muck duck eating contest. Yes, you are right. But there is another event that I excel at. It is called the Ear Pull. It is an event where two opponents pull each other's ears while enduring the harsh cold. It tests spiritual as well as physical strength. You want to pull each other's ears? The form is different, but the spirit is the same. Rejoice, Snake! Ours will be a glorious battle. This isn't glorious, it's just plain killing. Violence isn't a sport. Well, we'll see if there's iron in your words. And immediately running. All right, let me take that off. Okay, immediately calling everybody. The Vulcan Raven is half Native Alaskan American and half Inuit. He was raised as a shaman, and they say he has supernatural powers. During the Cold War, he trained in Russia with the Bimbal and the Soviet Special Forces. In 1993, he was demoted by President Yeltsin following his coup d'etat. So he fled the country and became a mercenary. After that, he joined those rent a war bastards at Outer Heaven, Inc. He stayed there until he joined us in Foxhound, thanks to a strong recommendation from Revolver Ocelot. That cannon he's holding is a 20mm Vulcan gun. You usually see them mounted on fighter planes. You can't take him on in a firefight. He'll make mincemeat of you. He's not just strong, Snake. He's a graduate emeritus from Alaska University, so he's a quick thinker, too. In any case, you'd better not try to attack him from the front. Normal weapons are no match for his 20mm Vulcan. Try to attack him from the sides or behind. That place is right in the middle of the permafrost. Just like the name says, it never melts. I've heard over 85% of Alaska is permafrost. It's extremely cold there, Snake. If you don't hurry, your sea rations will freeze. One way to prevent your sea rations from freezing is to hold them close to your body by equipping them. Wait, I actually never knew that. My sea rations will actually freeze? Oh, that, that sucks. All right, let me move my seating position again. I move a lot. Looks like Raven is holding an M61A1 20mm multi turreted machine gun. They are usually mounted on F 16s. With its six rotating turrets, it can fire 4,020mm rounds per minute. And it is accurate too. If you come at him from the front, he'll turn you into burst. Not gonna talk. Probably not gonna talk. Not a gun. Anything? That room is still under construction, because their main priority was to finish Metal Gear's underground base. But the good thing is, with all those containers, it should be easy to hide, right? We'll see. Alright, I'm gonna cheese this. 
Yeah, those claymores have been picking up. Alright, let me put mine detector on. Yeah, I don't know why I did that. That was very stupid of me. Come on now. Wait, 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 wait. What in God's name just happened? No, really, what just happened? I I, I meant to put down a thing and it didn't get me. Square, are you not working anymore? Because I clearly hit you multiple times to put that down. And you're like, yeah, I'm just gonna keep walking. comes from will kill him. There we go. That could have gone way smoother, but eh, whatever. It still worked. Just as the boss said, it is my existence which is no longer needed in this world. But my body will not remain in this place. 
My spirit and my flesh will become one with the ravens. In that way, I will return to Mother Earth who bore me. Snake! I will be watching you, understand? Snake, take this security card. It will open that door. Why? You are a snake which was not created by nature. You and the boss. You are from another world. A world that I do not wish to know. Go and do battle with him. I will be watching from above. First, I'll give you a hint. The man who you saw die before your eyes. What is it? That was not the Darker Chief. It was Decoy Octopus, a member of Foxhound. He was a master of disguise. He copied his subjects down to the blood. So he drained the Chief's blood and took it into himself. But he wasn't able to deceive the Angel of Death. The Angel of Death? But why go to so much trouble? Why impersonate the Chief? <laughs> that is the end of my hint. You must solve the rest of the riddle yourself. Snake, in the natural world, there's no such thing as boundless slaughter. There's always an end to it. But you are different. What are you trying to say? The path you walk on has no end. Each step you take is paved with the corpses of your enemies. Their souls will haunt you forever. You shall have no peace. Hear me, Snake. My spirit will be watching you. And thus he returned to Mother Earth. Vulcan Raven defeated. Snake, it's me, Master. It's about Naomi. Turn your monitor off. What about Naomi? Damn. Colonel, is Naomi there? No, she's away. She's taking a short nap. Hmm. So what is this about Naomi? Okay, maybe we'd better let the Colonel hear this too. Yeah, go on, Master. Well, basically, Dr. Naomi Hunter is not Dr. Naomi Hunter at all. What? I thought her story of her background sounded kind of fishy, so I checked it out. And? There is an actual Dr. Naomi Hunter, or I should say, there was one. But she's not the woman we know. The real Naomi Hunter disappeared somewhere in the Middle East. Our Naomi must have somehow obtained her identification papers. So then, who is she really? She must be some kind of... spy. A spy? Yes. Maybe she's been sent to sabotage this operation. Are you saying she's with the terrorists? I don't want to believe it either, but she is working for Foxhound. So you think she had a part in the uprising? Or she could be working with some different group altogether. Different group? It couldn't be. Place her under arrest. What? She's betrayed us. She needs to be arrested and interrogated to find out who she's with. If she's one of their spies, then we're in big trouble. What do you mean? Oh, uh, nothing. Have you let her in on some kind of vital secret or something? Does this have anything to do with the mysterious deaths of the DARPA chief and the Armstech president? I... I have no idea. Anyway, 
We cannot allow her to participate any further in this mission. Wait, wait a minute. Without her, we can't complete this mission. I knew it. You are hiding something. Give me some time. I'll try to get it out of her. Hurry then. We've got to figure out who she is and what she's doing here. I understand. Snake, give me some time. I don't have any time left for you. Yeah, I don't blame him. I'd be losing patience too. Basically a battle, you could have just used your Nikita launcher and shot him from the sides. If you shot him from the front though, of course, he will immediately shoot the rocket as it's coming near him. But, the way I did it was a little more cheesy, where I run around, try and guide him into the claymores, and go boom. I have a frozen ration. They did say, hey, your rations are gonna freeze. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 just hit me. There's a level 7 outside where Sniper Wolf was, and I'd rather open that first. Ah, you know what? I'll probably go back soon. Let's just keep going. I'd rather not go back for something I don't need yet. I'll be going back. <sighs> Holy cow. Yeah, if there's one thing Metal Gear games love is their backtracking. Ah! You didn't see that. There's one thing that Metal Gear games love, is their backtracking. Holy cow, yeah, this is a death throw in the half. Oh wait, they're not all on. Are they on? I have no idea, and I don't want to attempt it, but they didn't have a vision cone. There it is. Metal Gear. You knew. And there it is, everyone. Metal Gear. We're finally here. It looks like they've finished getting Metal Gear ready. How do you know that? I overheard them talking. Where are you now? Right in front of Metal Gear, but it's strange. What is? There's nobody here. No guards, nobody patrolling. It's too quiet. Maybe because they're all ready. They said they even input the PAL codes. What should I do? All we can do is use the override system that President Baker told you about. But I've only got one of the three keys. And besides that, like Ocelot said, there's some trick to using the keys. Leave it to me. You got some kind of plan? Well, I'm in the computer room right now. I'm trying to access Baker's private files. Baker's files? Don't you need a password? Of course, but there are ways. Are you a hacker? Yep, that describes me pretty well. Does it look like you can get in? I don't know yet. I'll give it a try. I'm counting on you. All right, he's doing that. Campbell. I'm in the front of here. Snake, stop that launch. Head for the control room in the underground base. The control room is on the third floor of the underground base, isn't it? There's no time. Yeah, anything to say about the Metal Gear? That 
stuff that is flowing in those ditches on the first floor must be radioactive nuclear wastewater. You better stay away from it. You are already exposed enough just by being in that area. Any further exposure could be fatal. That place does not have a nuclear processing facility. It must be some other kind of nuclear material that is leaking, besides the dismantled nuclear warheads. Probably spent nuclear fuel or something. Interesting. Um, Master, maybe? Your C rations are frozen? Oh, okay. Nope. The only one wants to yell at me about my C rations. Okay. At the moment, we're going to equip that and actually, yeah, let's thaw my C rations. So don't touch the water. I get shot at. Let's equip the body armor. Right, there's nothing over here except the camera. Nope, nope, not going Man, getting high ranking in this game. Oof, you're rough. I can only imagine. I'd rather than equip anything in my hand just in case I accidentally press anything. Alright, now we're on the Second floor? Alright, is there anyone up here? Cameras. I have jamming. Oh, I got chaff. Good old chaff. into okay keep trying you called me just to say oh, I haven't gotten through yet <laughs> okay snake it's me oh you gotten through no I made some progress you're not through yet no why are you calling me to let you know I'm making progress how about you tell me when you're actually through okay I don't see cameras. Oh, wait. There's someone in there. Aha! Uh -huh. There are soldiers. Why weren't they able to develop one until now? 
because of the missile rocket propulsion system. It would be picked up by enemy satellites. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. But unlike a missile, the railgun doesn't burn any propellant, so it can't be detected by any current ballistic missile detection systems. An invisible nuclear warhead. Totally impossible to intercept. And on top of that, it's got a surface-piercing warhead designed to penetrate hardened underground bases. Yeah, we learned that lesson in the Gulf War. This thing could mean the end of the world. It's the ultimate weapon. And from a political point of view, it avoids the problem of nuclear reduction and nuclear inspections. Colonel, is this true? Are you listening? I'm listening. If word of this got out, it could delay the signing of the START III treaty and cause a huge international incident. Yeah, it would be nasty. The United States would be denounced by the UN. It could even bring the president down. Did you know this, Colonel? I'm sorry. You changed, Colonel. I won't make any excuses. Snake, listen to me. This new nuclear weapon, it's never actually been tested, only simulated. You mean they ran a computer model? Yeah, that's why they were conducting this exercise. They needed to get actual experimental data to back up the simulation. What were the results of the exercise? It looks like it went better than they hoped for, but I can't find the data anywhere on this network. You'd think the data as important as that would be carefully recorded. It was. President Baker gave me an optical disk with all of the test data. What? Do you still have it? No. Ocelot took it from me. Damn. The terrorists have replaced the dummy warhead with a real warhead. Once they input the detonation codes, they should be ready to launch. So you think they can do it? Well, the dummy warhead was designed to be identical to the real thing, so I think so. Did you find out how to override it yet? Not yet. It must be in a separate file. Right now I'm looking through all of Baker's personal files. We're counting on you. Oh, that was a lower drop. We just learned a lot more about the Metal Gear than... Ooh. So this thing is a stealth weapon, armor-piercing, missiles, warheads, just it is a mess. Yes. Snake! Did you find it? No. I haven't found out about the override system yet, but I found Baker's ulterior motive. He's just looking to get rich, isn't he? Well, that's part of it. Arms Tech is in much worse financial trouble than I thought. I know they lost their bid to make the next generation fighter jet. That plus the reduction in SDI spending. It looks like there was even some talk of a hostile takeover. Everything was riding on this project, I guess. It looks like we were paying a lot of bribe money to the DARPA chief. Bribe money, huh? Yeah, and Baker was a big proponent of the nuclear deterrent theory. I see. So anyway, what about the override? Just give me a little bit longer. All right.
Okay, I've entered the PAL codes and disengaged the safety device. We can launch any time. There's still no response from Washington. It looks like we'll have to show them that we mean business. Should I set it for Chernerton, Russia? No. There's been a change. The new target is Lopnor, China. Why, boss? I'm sure neither you nor Mr. Golukovich would really like to see a nuclear bomb dropped on your motherland, right? Liquid. But why? There's nothing there. Wrong. It's a nuclear test site. A nuclear test site? If we nuke a major population center, the game's over. But a nuclear explosion at a test site can still be concealed from the public. Meanwhile, Washington will be worried about the retaliatory strike from China. That'll probably mean top-secret talks between both countries' leaders. Of course. And in the process, the President will be forced to divulge the existence of a new and highly destabilizing nuclear weapon to the Chinese. What do you think that will do to the U.S.'s reputation? Or the President's? And with the CTBT, that means that China and India... I see. Yes. When the other countries hear about this new weapon, they'll all want to contact us. Washington won't be very happy when we start selling their own system to the highest bidders. Yes, the president will break. He will give in to our demands. Big Boss's DNA and one billion dollars. Billion dollars? That money will be used to cure our genome soldiers as well. I'm also including the Fox Dye vaccine in our demands. Fox Dye. It killed Octopus and the arms tech president. So it's true that it affects older people first. Mantis might not have been affected because he wore a mask. Wolf wasn't infected either. Perhaps due to those tranquilizers she always took. Something to do with the adrenaline level in the blood. Or maybe it's just because this fox dye was still experimental and they haven't worked out all the bugs yet. In any case, have you heard from your friend, Colonel Sergei Golukovich, at the Spetsnaz? He still has doubts about the ability of Metal Gear. He said we can talk after Metal Gear's test launch is successful. Hmm, he's a very prudent man. There's nothing to worry about. The Colonel wants Metal Gear and a new nuclear weapon so bad he can taste it. If Russia wants to regain its position as a military superpower, they need to reinforce their nuclear arsenal. They need a nuclear weapon that can't be intercepted. Metal Gear will allow them to gain first strike capability over the rest of the world. Their regular army is in shambles, and they think they can restore their country's military power with nuclear weapons? Golukovich, he's no warrior. He's a politician. But he's the one who gave us the Hind and most of our other heavy firepower. He's got over a thousand soldiers under his command. If we join forces, we could put up quite a resistance here. Since Mantis died, the genome soldier's brainwashing has started to wear off. I'm worried about the man's morale. An alliance with the Russians would boost that as well. What do you say? We're not going anywhere. We're going to dig in here. We could still escape. We've got the most powerful weapon ever made, and we're about to ally with Golukovich's forces. Are you going to fight the whole world? And what's wrong with that? We can launch a nuclear warhead at any target on this planet. A nuclear warhead invisible to radar. And on top of that, this base is full of spare nuclear warheads. Once we get the DNA and the money, the world will be ours. What about your promise to Colonel Golukovich? I have no interest in the revival of Mother Russia. You're not thinking of reviving Big Boss's dream. On today, call this place Outer Heaven. Big Boss's dream. But Boss, you're not worried about the PAL being overridden. If the code is in it again, it'll be deactivated. No need to worry. The DARPA chief and the arms tech president are both dead. Does Snake know how the override system works? You interrogated him, don't you know? He didn't have any keys on him. They see me. Good. Then no one can stop Metal Gear now. By the way, what should we do with that woman? Want me to kill her? Let her live. She's Campbell's niece, and Snake cares for her. We'll keep her as our ace in the hole. Meryl. She's alive.
Snake. I found Baker's top secret files. Great job. How's it going there? They've finished inputting the PAL codes. So how do we deactivate them? Okay. You see, the override system that the President was talking about, it can also be used to input the detonation codes. You see, if you insert the keys when the warhead is active, you deactivate it. And if you insert them when it's inactive, it becomes activated. And you can only use the keys once. Only once, huh? Yeah. You better get started. We don't have much time. But it takes three keys, right? I've only got one of them. Hold on a minute. You see, that's the trick. You already have all three keys. What are you talking about? The card key is made of a shape memory alloy. Shape memory alloy? Yes. It's a material that changes shape at different temperatures. The key is made out of it. This card key? Yeah. The card key changes shape at different temperatures. So this key is actually three keys in one. Clever. Can you see the input terminals in the center of the control room? I see them. Those three laptop terminals are for the emergency input. There should be a symbol on each screen. Each symbol corresponds to a different key. Input the keys in order from left to right. The left one's for the room temperature key. See the symbol? Next to that goes the low temperature key. The one on the right is the high temperature key. Okay, I got it. First, I change the shape of the card, and then I input them in order, right? That's right. All you do is insert the card keys. After you insert the key into the module, a hard disk reads the information contained on it. Once you've finished with all three terminals, the code input process is complete. But here's the thing. You can only use the key three times. It's an emergency system. It's only meant to be used once. The world is riding on that key, Snake. Who's that? Damn! The key fell in the drainage ditch. Snake! This is bulletproof glass. There's no way in. I'll enjoy watching you die. <laughs> They gave up that chase quickly. Oh yeah, they saw me on the monitor while they were talking. Weird. Yet they kept talking. On top of that, they, I thought they said this, there was only one of these keys. On top of that, if they inputted it already, they wouldn't be asking about how the key functions. Because the only way to use, do it is to use the key.
maybe down there. I now know what that does. I was curious. I'm like, what is this? And it says something, something equip. And I'm like, all right, let's see what happens. I now know what happens. Hey, yeah, I know. I learned by experience, okay? Let me hold the shaft. All right, let's do that. the code next time getting a little tired and yeah right this level I'm fine on it's this level that has the two enemies
are they still over there? I don't know. I'll have to... Wait, no. Come on. This way. Come on. This way. Snake? Come on. There we go. Are they still in there? Oh yeah, I won't be able to see from here. idea what that noise was. How weird. I thought I heard a noise. What noise? Yeah, there's only one key and they're only usable once. That's it. Pal code number one. Confirm. Awaiting pal code number two. Okay. That takes care of pal code number one. Now pal number two. Freeze the key. Mm-hmm. Which I know where to do that. Vulcan Raven. Alright, if I move, I'm immediately getting seen. Apparently, I'm in the blind spot. We're going to simply throw that to my SOCOM. We're gonna get downstairs. Alright, where's the enemy gonna be? Left or right? Damn, he's over there. Actually, that was the worst idea I ever had. get down the Metal Gear track and uh, I'll leave out the front door and save it and call it. I want to get out of here before I save it. Save it, call it, and go. Yeah, that sounds nice. Okay, are all these off or are they on? Because they're moving, but I don't see anything. There 
is a big difference between conventional weapons and weapons of mass destruction. Conventional weapons are intended for use against military targets, but nuclear weapons are used against non-combatants. Nukes are designed to kill tens of thousands of innocent civilians in a flash. That is why nuclear weapons are so evil. Agreed. Okay, Campbell, anything to say? You've got to lower that card key's temperature. Find some place cold. I know a place cold. Okay, so that wasn't useful. I'll just talk to Mei Ling. What can I do for you, Snake? I would like to save Mei Ling. Thank you. Alright, power didn't go out. I'm happy because it's been getting windy. For each recording, I'm going to just save in slot one or two or three and then... In China, they say, the snake, knowing itself, strikes swiftly. It means that if you have confidence that what you are doing is part of your true nature, there should be no hesitation. Hmm. I don't know whether your orders are in your true nature or not, but snake, believe in yourself. Thanks, Mei Ling. I appreciate it. Hey, Deep Throat, got anything to say? Yeah, you don't like the Deep Throat, I know. Alright, are you guys gonna shoot me? Oh, oh god, yep, look, they're all active. They're all active. Okay, so they all are active. You just don't see the cones. Okay, I'm gonna see you next time. I think I got a decent amount done. You have no idea how much of the game it was left. It's actually not much. I can easily finish this in the next... Um, how much do I think is left? I'm gonna say less than two hours. I could probably do this in an episode. Because when you finally finish the paddle keys, it's near final boss and this and that. So I, I, I think the next one will actually be the last one. I might even change the wallpaper on the sides too to suit it. But yeah, um, just keep in mind, I think it's strange that they say the paddle key can only be used once. And we're inputting it in these computers, and it's actually lowering something, confirming instead of raising, like it's deactivating. Yeah. Until next time, I'll see you next time. Well, bye bye. And for me, good night.